From what I remember, there are a couple ways to progress from here. Um, I think if you do things the nice way, you can actually get the the leper man and the Sabani to trade the the drum and everything normally. But for now, let's wander all the way the fuck back and buy two more. Wait, how many did I buy? I bought three, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go. Oh shoot! No, oh, no, please don't be closed. Yeah, everything's closed. Well, at least my buddy is here. All right, well let's give him a, give him like a piece of meat or something. All right, so let's sleep until morning again. Waste the entire night. There we go. All right, so let's go buy these zebra skins. And do I have a spear? Did I think to do that? Nope, I didn't buy a spear either. So eh, it doesn't even matter. I could have come as prepared as I want to, but I did buy the rubes. That makes me feel a little bit better. And by a little bit, I mean hardly at all. But hey, I got enough money to last me forever, ever. Alright, so let's greet. Buy a weapon. Alright, so we need a fine spear. Let's bargain him down a little bit. Wow. I talked him way down. I took four royals worth. Ka-ching. Alright. That out of the way. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, we have to go up here. I think I'm pretty much done for down here. I think I bought, I bought the acrobatic skills and everything. Alright, here we go. Let's buy another two zebra skins. Okay. Zebra skin, two of those, let's bargain them down. It's all good, he says. Ka-ching. Purchase. Done. Alright, now we have enough for the dowry. Thank God. Alright, finally. So now with the dowry in tow, we have to make that traipsing trip all the way frickin' back. And once you get good at it, you can walk this line between these two vendors just so, so you don't get stopped by either of them. If you walk right down this line, you're okay. But a little bit either way to one side, then... Well, yeah, as you can see, nothing happens. Okay. Normally, I remember, like, if you wandered outside that line whatsoever... Either of those guys would stand up and talk your fucking ear off. I really don't have anybody else to talk to. I think we've basically done everything we need to in Tarna. Like, period. Alright. Off we go. Quick! Get all the rocks! Defend yourself! I know somebody out there is a Quest for Glory master, and they're watching me do this and just thinking, you fucking tool. Why can you not do this properly? You're just sitting there and taking every hit in the face. All right, finally, back in town. Let's go ahead and buy me a bride. Let's hope it's not too late in the evening. Probably is. Nope, not a good time. Well, I guess that means... Well, hey, maybe it's, he's free to play some uh, play some games. No, that's right. I'm not even in the mood for grinding. I just want to go. All right, let's sleep. I think we did plenty of grinding out there in the wilds anyway. We got like four things in a row without dying. I'm really impressed with you, sneaky feet. All right, so let's sleep until morning. Honk, shoe, honk, show, honk, show. There he goes. All right, finally, let's get this story moving. All right, so now that we have everything, let's go see if we can, yeah, here we go. All right, let's make sure we do the genteel thing. Hello. All right, let's give him what he needs. So he asked for one fine spear on one fine day. There you go. Yes, sir. I'm most interested in where well, kid. Except your bride, prize, left man, prayer. Oh, your wife. Well, great. I mean, don't we get like a ceremony or something? Or no one seems to be listening. The Laban's right there for crying out set. Let's ask him about the spear. And it's going to be war. Yes, we know. Well, bye. I can't leave. There we go. Okay. All right, well, now that we've bought ourselves a wife, let's go see if she'll actually talk to us now. A bar here is player. Already the rumor will be spreading that y'all be a husband of the leopard lady. Ha! 
Oh, how did they hear this? I mean, I, this happened 10 seconds ago. I've been thinking you should find some gifts for your new bride. Maybe they'll think of you more as a friend than as an enemy. Yeah, right. I think she's going to see right through this one. Well, let's see if I can talk to her now. Leopard man. No. I am your husband. Hello, acknowledge me. Uh, I should be used to that. I can ignore it all the time. Okay, so let's start loading her down with all the shiny things. So Leopard, you know, she's got to want that. This is lovely. Do not think, though, that will make me your wife. You see, she's all pretty and stuff, but she sounds like a dipshit. That's going to happen with a lot of the leopard men, you'll notice. They all sound kind of weird. Um, Alright, how about some beads? You want some beads? The leopard lady holds the beads for a moment, smiles, and then puts them away. Where? You're wearing a loincloth. And then, I don't think she wants money or anything. I think she just wants, like, a dagger. But I, I, that's my only dagger. I can't give her that one. I think, let me see if I can give her, like, a throwing dagger. Let's save, just in case. That might mean I have to make another trip all the way back to turn her shopping mall again. Well, let's see if I can give her mine. Uh, do not think I will use this on some someday. Say, so it's a very nice gift. Okay, well, I think the last thing I can give her really is her gift of freedom. <coughs> <coughs> so, um, out you go. Uh, before we let this bride out, you're as a cage. Maybe a final make sure you're run out for her heart, yada yada. Alright, I guess she wants more stuff. Um, do you want money? Food? Are you hungry? No. I thought that's all she wanted. Uh, maybe I can talk to her now. No. Interesting. I could have sworn that was enough. Maybe if I go back there when, yeah, when Hohor is not here. Maybe now I'll try it. There we go. Now there's no one to stop me. Later, baby. Bye. Well. The car says something you can't quite understand, but you do not think it's flattering. All right. Now we got to figure out what to do. Let's go out and see if we can talk to her and hope I don't get killed immediately for not having a dagger. You know what? Um, I think I should really go right back to Tarna and buy a dagger before we continue. I wonder what happens if I get into a battle without my dagger. I have a dagger. Alright, never mind. Alright, so I guess I have a dagger by default. I just give her like a spare one or something. Well, that's good uh, foresight on my part, I suppose. Okay. So, now that... Well, at least we figured that out. And I don't need to make an entire trip back to Tarnal for no reason. Let's see if we can find out where my wife went. Uh, she would have went this way. Um, out in the jungle. Because I know that the Samban... The yeah, the Samban... The Leperman Village is way out in the middle of nowhere somewhere. Alright, let's see. Um, I guess we'll just... Head on over. Maybe we'll run into our little monkey friend as well. I miss him. Maybe she doesn't love me enough not to talk to me. Oh, good. I feel like someone's watching me. Hello! You call out a greeting to the unseen watcher. There's not a creature in the jungle which has not heard your coming. Good thing you're not a hunter. Well, hello, little Miss Loincloth. <laughs> So you may have paid a price to cow people, bride price and stuff, but I'm not your wife. You cannot buy me. You think you could win me with a gift? I am Johari. I will choose my own husband when I want one. Uh, make friends? <laughs> That's a very general option. You tell Johari that you only want to be your friend. I've heard those words before. First you want to buy me for a wife, then you want to be my friend! Right. You try to explain that you're trying to bring peace between the Simbani and the Leopard Men. So, all you want to do is to use me to talk to my people? The only reason you want me as a friend so is that I will betray my village for you? You never wanted to really marry me? What's the matter with you? Am I ugly or something? Oh, you try to talk your way out of this mess. Some friend you are, trying to use me. Right. Well, let's see. Well, at least I can ask her about everything. Name! 
I am the daughter of the leader of the Leopard people, and a spellcasting changer. Like fucking all of us. Drum of magic. We don't know how the cow men found our village or managed to steal our drum of magic, but he left behind a spear in his hurry to escape. Oh, goody. So let's more about the spear. Spear. My people did not steal the spear. The cow people spares the stupid Simbani seem to think. It was their thief who took our drum of magic and left it behind for us to find. How can there be peace between the cow people and our people when they stole our drum of magic and will not return it? There has never been mention of a peace mission to my people. The leopard people stay to themselves. I am the only one who has spoken to an outsider. Okay, well, we learned a lot with that independent. Village! My vi people's village has protected my magic so no outsiders can find it. My people are shape changers and magic users and have no respect for those who have no magic power. Jungle! Leopard men are at home in the jungle and our magic helps us survive and prosper here. Now, uh, those you call the Sambani, we call cow people since they live like cows. War! There will soon be open warfare between the cow people and my people. They stole our drum of magic, and they captured and sold me as a bride. These insults cannot be accepted. Alright. Oh, we can ask all kinds of stuff now. Leader! My father makes the laws for my tribe. The cow people would be plenty sorry they captured me. For my people would have wiped them out tonight if I had not escaped. My people are shape changers, blah blah blah. You just mentioned that already. I know magic, yada yada yada. Um... The most of the magic of my people is done through ritual. Maybe someday you can see our magic, if I decide to show you. Blah, you sure like the talk. I will go now, so don't bother trying to follow me. I can hear and see you in the jungle, but you will not hear or see me unless I let you. Is she gonna do that little thing when she walks away and give that little wink over the shoulder like that? Oh. I don't this married life is hard, at least in the game. Real life is easy. Okay, well, married life is not working out the way Sneaky Feet would like. And I think he wanted someone who was also kind of in this Sneaky Feet-ish persuasion. Just saying. Well, um, I think if we wander around long enough, she'll talk to us again. And we'll make sort of a, a, a plan of action. But just let her know I'm not fucking around. I'm going to go out into the jungle a little bit deeper. Here's something nearby. She's still around. Hello! So you're in the jungle calling out to all the monsters in the jungle. Here I am. Come and get me with your noise. Black him. She's a little bit passive aggressive, this Johari. Are you still trying to get eaten? Are you looking for my village? You need someone like that cowman Yosefu to protect you in this jungle. Great. I think she's got a crush on Yosefu. Well, let's see if we can talk some reason into her. Uh, tell about mission, mission, mission piece. Blah, blah, blah. I know that my people had nothing to do with such an ambush. We did not even know about the mission. Why are we blamed for everything? Interesting. So there's a third party at work. Maybe this demon theory is correct. Um, war! Uh, there's gonna be a war between the Simbani and stuff. This is what's gonna happen. You know, demons and darkness and stuff. So the cow people are mad at us for a spear we did not steal, and the lion tars are mad at us for a peace mission we did not attack. Ugh, I don't even know what's going on, but you are right. A war would be very bad. She's so well-spoken. Uh, let's see, we can ask about more stuff here. I decided to forgive you for insulting me. You're probably too dumb to know what you're doing anyway. Blah. Uh, let's see, she got a crush on Yosefu. Yosefu was a strong cow man who kept saying he wanted me for a wife. He almost looks smart for a Simbani. Shame you bought me as a bride first. Ugh, I would not have just watched quietly while I run away as if he didn't care. Wow, she really does not like me at all. Oh, you know some magic too, huh? You cannot make the lightning jump from your fingers and go where you command, can you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Maybe you would like to learn how to make a lightning ball to help you stay alive in the jungle. He'll teach you since you look so fucking helpless. Here, that's how you tease a lightning bolt. I learned the spell. Well, cool. I learned something new. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how she was captured. I was caught while I was trying to sneak into the cowman village to take back our drum. It's hard to sneak in the savannah. No place to yeah, hide. Yeah, tell me about it. I can't sneak anywhere around here. 
White people will never let you near the village. They know you are with the Sambani, because I told him so. Do you went all the way back and he found me again? Right. So you're still trying to find the village? Do you think I'll let you find out where it is and the cow people can attack it? Blagan. I will I'll talk to my father about what I said. Maybe we can stop the war. I'll see you again. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm just going to kind of do this my way. I figure the only way I'm going to get an audience with the Leopardman is if I have, as a peace offering, their stupid drum. So I'm going to go back and I'm going I'm to take the drum. I'm finally going to instigate a little bit of thievery. God damn it. Nope, nope, nope. Not the wyverns. We learn the hard way. We are not to mess with the wyverns at any time. I don't care if I'm full health or not. I'm not fucking with them. And it's good to see the, uh, every single jungle in the world is made out in a perfect grid. No turns, no S-bends, no nothing. Alright, good. Now, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it back to the village in time. Because it has to be nighttime when I do this. Naturally, more. So, I'm going to have to sleep until the evening. God damn it. Well, at least I'm still in one mode. I probably could take him. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use my new magic against you, wyvern, wyvern, dragon thing. So this is my new magic here? Ooh, he doesn't like that at all. How about fire? I feel like such a cheater. Alright, well, that wasn't so bad. Alright, so maybe I've been giving the wyvern thing a little bit too much, uh, too much credit. Well, fantastiche. Alright, so let's head back to the village. All right, well, death to ants. Oh, death to all God's creatures, great and small. So this does work. So I can use the keypad, which is much easier. Wow, that makes so much difference. Okay, oh, crap. No, the sun, the devil's sun. You broke my cover. All right. Well, let's see if I can get a few uh, balance beams in here. Let's see if a horror will join me, and then I'll just sleep until nighttime. God damn it. No, no, sneaky feet. You're doing it wrong. The one time I have a chance to do something sneaky feetish, and I'm thwarted by the day ball. Let's see if it'll even let me sleep until nighttime. Is that even an option? Actually, maybe I can play some more, uh... Some more of that game. I wonder if you said food. Damn it. I don't want to play the game. Now I want to play with the. Alright, so let's rest. Can I rest until evening? 60 minutes. I feel worse than before. Fuck. Am I poisoned? Yes. Freaking poisoned. Alright. Um, poison cure. I have seven of these. Alright, so we're fine. All right, cool. So let's see if we can sleep. After some rest, you feel better. I don't think this is going to take us all the way till nighttime. Can I do it if I'm laying down? No, well. So we're going after the drum at long freaking last. Here, for what I imagine to be approaching midnight at this point. Yeah, it's like the middle of the night. Alright, whatever. Um, I think we can burrow our way in through. Checking for details. Aha! There we go. There's a crack in the wall. Definite weakness. In we go. Let's put a dagger in there. Yes. Alright. Here we go. I got a jaw with it. I got a jaw with it. Nope. Uh, blown up. <laughs> ha! Jumping over leopards on a tightrope because I'm sneaky feet and I own fucking leopards. Yeah!